Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bebby and today we are playing some more Solaris with the Utopia DLC. Let's see what we've got to do. We had some stuff that we were working on. We're going to build some outposts over here. Or at least, uh, yeah, some out outposts. I think that we, um, yeah, we might want to be uh, looking at those research stations. Now, I think that we already built the um, solar panels. Yep. And uh, before I forget, we might want to assign a governor to a new planet. I'm not going to on pause for just a little bit longer. Uh, slave mineral output and slave food output. That sounds like a nice trait for our slaver civilization. Now, we don't have too many people assigned over here yet that... Uh, they can do that work. I don't know if, uh, yeah, they are enslaved because we've got a caste system set up. All right, that's that's very nice. Uh, some slaves uh, going around. As for here, we can upgrade some buildings, but I would very much like to colonize a little bit further. Uh, where did we send the scientist ship to? Yeah, okay, we sent him to the Alpine world, which should be perfectly colonizable by us. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to do before I unpaused. I'm not sure, though. Now, we've got to resolve the food issue, but it's it's not a huge issue by any means uh, because it, it's going to be resolved. We're going to be producing some food in Chalop Prime as soon as we've got some building set up. We already built a basic power plant over here, uh, and I don't think... Yeah, do we want to import some new people? Maybe we, we actually do. Uh, now, the thing is... The mineral income that we have over at this planet, it, it, our prime planet, is a lot better because we've got the uh, refinery or, yeah, the processing plant. So that's going to increase the overall output of minerals considerably. So we don't need those guys necessarily on Shallop. So I'm looking to find a way to get more people over here, but it doesn't seem to be really worth it. Uh, we've got a time project ending, but I think, yeah, probably queued that up. Let's... Once more, check the military power on this station. It's only 65, so we should be good sending out our military fleet. Uh, the thing is, of course, we've got to move across the entire galaxy to get there, so that's not the best thing. Uh, even if we... No, there's there's actually no way to get there. That is something. <laughs> All right, well, we might want to do something to increase our border sizes then. Definitely want to get more population going on Chalup to improve our influence over this sector because we need this lane. It's it's ridiculously important. But for now, hmm, maybe we should colonize that planet. Let's see. We, we've got ourselves the power plant. Uh, basic, no, sis, nah. Deflectors might not be the worst thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for those uh, so that we can upgrade the capacity of our ships once more. And I think we'll just build an out, uh, frontier outpost over here. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I thought I thought it said it cost a uh, monthly influence of three, but it, it cost 30 overall to uh, establish. So that's good. And I think now we want to save up for some uh, some money to get a colonist. Now, I definitely don't want to get this outside of my borders. I do hope that these guys build some improvements over there. They should. Their fleet power is still equivalent, our naval capacity is equivalent, but their technology level is inferior, so that is most curious. Uh, the best way to get there, though, is to go all the way around, so that is not optimal for us. They could, um, when we attack this way, they could just invade from here, and that is not the best thing. Uh, let's see if we've... Oh, of course it's not going to start out at this planet. Probably should have queued that up first. But we've got 16 tiles, so I don't think it's going to be a bad planet by any means. And maybe we could get the curators within our borders, which I always like. Because it gives us kind of the control to protect these guys. They they tend to be sometimes attacked by other civilizations. I'm not a fan of it. I'd like to keep those guys alive, but, uh, you know... Other civilizations, maybe not so much. I do know that you get an achievement, by the way, for the destroying them. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Why is the habitability not 100%? I guess because it's not a capital planet, is it? Yeah. All right, we're making some progress. We're going to make some more energy credits coming real soon. 
Uh, don't think we need to worry about those too much. The food issue is is definitely an issue. Uh, but we might want to... Yeah, we might want to invest some minerals in upgrading our power plants before we start even thinking of colonizing. So let's go do that first. Uh, maybe even upgrade the uh, laboratory or the science lab that we've got over here. Well, laboratory and lab is the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> kind of redundant there. Uh, yeah, we can hit speed fast, I guess. Construction ship is busy. That's good to hear. Maybe we'll get some more in our influence, sphere of influence, but I... I certainly do hope that this is going to be within our borders. But I, th I think it will be. I think it will. Uh, arid world, desert world, tropical world. None of these share our uh, atmosphere types. And that, that sucks a great deal. Maybe we could uh, enslave another civilization so that we could uh, assim assimilate them. We could, we could establish a presence in Tundra. Uh, or in this Tundra world, I mean. <laughs> in Tundra. Wow. Uh, oh, force. Oh, look at that. B Batharian stone. Habitability plus 5%. Growth time minus 10%. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to drop the ship probably over here, but I'm definitely going to move it uh, over at this massive glacier later on. Just destroy the landing pod. That is great, actually. Let's see if we can get the research for remove, uh, removal of the glaciers. It would help out tremendously. We've got those uh, at Chalup as well. Uh, although it's only one tile. Uh, would have preferred Mountain for this planet, but that one is... Oh, sorry. That planet's certainly going to be priority number one. The Batharian Stone is very important for us. And I think I think after this we could, we could invest in some uh, Batharian research. I mean, it would only be worthwhile, right? It would, it would make it so that we don't have to worry about energy credits that much anymore for a long time. And come to think of it, we might just special, want to specialize the entire planet for society and, well, I, I guess industry over here as well, or engineering. But society, society research and energy. Uh, sadly, there's, there's, there's uh, two mineral tiles over here, which I would like to be... Uh, electric tiles, or sorry, energy credit tiles, but uh, that will just have to do with this. All right, let's uh, let's leave. By the way, that's that star's got. Oh, I, I thought we said five. That would that would have been pretty great, but uh, two is fine as well. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot the presence still over here. We do not have that queued up by any chance, right? No. Okay. That planet's got. 14 tiles, it's not too bad, but it's it's probably not going to be better than the uh, system that's producing Batharian stone, or at least that has the potential to. Oh, there we go, a an asteroid that gives plus three. Okay. 14 tiles only, so it, it has to be really good. Does it want to be better than the other one? And sadly, we don't have the removal tiles. All right, we'll go for the... Um, Colonial centralization, I suppose. And yes, this is now within our borders. Let's send out our military fleet and uh, take down that station. Let's research that anomaly. That's fine. Let's go and attack those bastards. And over here, we might want to build some improvements. It's a pretty good star. Let's see. Yeah, we've got ample op options, but most of them are colonizable, so I don't really want to build that. We'll have to wait until we can colonize those. Maybe we'll find a species that's actually compatible with those uh, planets. It would be very nice, but I, I haven't seen any minor factions so far. I think this is the only civilization that we've found. Uh, let's check our situation log. Four months. It's, it's quite a lot, but I think I want to uh, establish presence on this planet so that we get a lot of society output. And after that, we'll... Uh, wait a minute. How did we lose yet another science ship? This is ridiculous, man. How is this possible? That's our third that we lost. This is... Oh, my God. This is driving me mad, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Um, let's just ignore it, I guess. Uh, let's go for the build speed plus 25%. It's, it's a pretty nice technology. Also... Oh. Yeah, there we go. We can embrace a new tradition. So let's pause the game and do that right away. The effect of increased tradition cost caused by the number of colonies is reduced by 33%. I like that one quite a bit. 
Let's see, we've got 70 months left, though, so that's quite a long time. We're not producing that much unity in our planets, or on our planets. So that is definitely something we want to change. And, oh, look at that. Look at that. We got the crystals over in this system. So we definitely want to build a research station over here. Oh, wow. It's got one society, one engineering, and one Telda crystal. Kinetic weapon damage. Um... Are the lasers, they're not kinetic, I think. I think kinetic is a whole, a whole uh, different category. Oh, we can't build over there. It's not just not within our borders. Okay, got it. In that case... Oh, we got one over here, a new gun. Let's go and build it over here, then. It's a pretty, uh, pretty nice uh, asteroid, if you ask me. And there we go, we got some nice amount of credits and uh, minerals. So we might want to just build that colony ship right away and get this, get this thing going. If I can even get my tongue to uh, move properly, eh? I've got some debris, we might want to scan it. Sadly, our scientists keep on dying because they just uh, don't want to be around us, I suppose? I don't know what's... Uh What's what's the cause of death every single time? It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, and the one we have an outpost on has this as well. What the? Huh. Alright, let's queue that up as well then, in that case. And I think I want to have improvements as well, but first off, we might want to build the... Oh, we, oh, we need to upgrade the spaceport. Alright, I need that technology because otherwise we won't even... Uh, have the ability to use those hydroponic farms that we've unlocked just now. Uh, do we want to build a spaceport? I'd say yes. We probably do want to have one. So let's let's go and start the construction on that. We are already constructing a not a science ship, a colonist. Cl colonist. Wow, damn. And let's continue the exploration. But first, of course, we need to scan the uh, debris. There we go. And as for the fleet, you need to recall. Thank you very much. And after that, we'll send the sign ship to explore over here once more. It doesn't show me that there's been enemy presence around. So that couldn't have been the cause of death of our previous uh, guy. Now, I do think that... Uh, is our species weak? See, it's not weak. It's sedentary, fleeting. Oh, yeah, there we go. Leader lifespan minus 10 years. All right, but it, it shouldn't make that big of a difference. 10 years is not that much. All right, synchronized defenses. Hmm. All right, I, I suppose we'll go for the improved deflection. Uh, deflectors. Well, I, I guess they deflect, so it's deflection, but you know what I mean. All right. No, it doesn't seem like we're having a lot of luck. <laughs> and that's just putting it lightly, eh? But but there we go. We are starting construction on our second uh, spaceport. These guys have got three planets colonized already. I would like to have a military outpost over here. And then we could always disband them once we have those, um, those uh, systems. Or that system entirely colonized. But uh, in the meantime, I guess I'll I'll get rid of this uh, out outpost. We'll just build a new one over here. It's, it's an entire waste of money or of resources. But uh, we just have to. If I can curb the power of those other guys, then that's uh, I'm going to take every single possibility I have. All right. Is, is the colony ship finished? No. All right. Let's check the surface of our dear capital. All right, he's been placed over there. Let's let's um, move him around. This would bring us some a surplus of food. Yeah, the hydroponics farm, and we shouldn't worry about food anymore. Can we do a physics lab? We definitely can. Ooh, that that borders are growing pretty quickly. Can't say I'm too fond about that. We've got a negative credit ba balance right now. But uh, that, that's going to be fine. We'll colonize the planet as quickly as possible. We do have modifiers that will speed it up. So that's all good. Uh, we'll drop you right here. Uh, I guess. May maybe over here so that we get the Batharian stone right away. 
Because eventually I want to have it over here. But there's no food tiles anywhere near, so I might as well... Uh, 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 all right, I'm, th I'm thinking about the frontier outpost or the um, the clinic, but that that's not going to work anytime soon anyway, because we need to upgrade the colony for that first. Let's see what what this faction wants from us. Embrace faction. What is going to happen? Um, I don't really know what their demands are. It doesn't show us. Oh, the faction is happy. Okay, it's just a faction of our population. It doesn't mean that they're plotting against us, I suppose. All right, that's a good thing. Uh, it might be positive. We've got some... Oh, we've got some beta alien, aliens. Aliens right there. All right. I, I would like to scan this system, but it's got a 1K fleet in there, and we really don't want to tackle that just yet. Now, we do want to build up our fleet so that we can counter these guys, because it's still in our... Uh, situation log. I'd say we build two more uh, spaceships. And, uh, oh, look at that slave army. Never seen that before. Elite guard army. A ruler may only recruit one personal guard force. I've never seen the elite guard army yet. I don't know if that's new. I don't think so. Because I played another civilization. It might be tied to our ethics because we are, we've got a, an absolute ruler, a, a royal. T, I suppose. But there we go. That grew our borders a little bit again. How far are you on the construction? 3%. All right. That will take some time, I'm sure of it. In the meantime, we can rack up some credits or we could build up a fleet. And I do like the sound of the latter. So let's go and uh, construct three more corvettes. I think I want to have a total fleet of 20 corvettes but uh yeah capacity right now is 17 we might be able to upgrade that uh, pretty soon as well so I, I don't worry about that too much to be honest all right all right all right i wish i'd find more uh military outposts uh more pirate outposts because those things give you very nice bonuses uh like 300 credits and 300 minerals we could definitely use those Ooh, our borders keep on growing. I think Chehab had uh, population growth. Let's check it out and build a building if that's appropriate. Yeah, there we go. We almost got yet another population type. Let's see, a basic mine. Is that going to be good? I guess it is. We can already build the Frontier Clinic, which I would very much like to do. But we need to get rid of that mountain range first, because that's exactly where I want to have it. So let's first build a mineral mine. And what to do on our dear home planet? I'm not too sure yet. I think I'll just uh, move the population around. The one that's growing right now, I'll probably send it to the new colony so that we get uh, an initial boost. Let's check it out. There we go. Society. is he? He's going to bring in society, but I don't think that's going to be too useful right now because sip hooks can... Um, yeah, they can cough up a lot more society than uh, we could at the capital. Let's see. We need two more pops so we can upgrade the um, the uh, reassembled ship shelter. I always need to check that name because I never quite remember what it's called. All right. Still losing energy credits. Not too happy about that, but it's fine. We will We will be able to get the colony finished in time, but I just don't like it. Let's see how far the... Um, Outpost is okay, 80%. So once it hits 100, I'll get rid of that one because I definitely don't want to have too many there or more than necessary. And how large is our fleet? 300 something. Okay, let's add two more to it. And we'll just keep that for the near future. We'll keep that as our entire navy. Hmm. Should we already recruit a... Uh, no, I guess I'll recruit the um, governor as soon as the planet is finished. It makes more sense because he might die of old age. Maybe it's, maybe it's not by that much, but it's going to be three months or a difference, I guess, or six months. So you definitely don't want to have that. All right, let's select the uh, outpost and disband it. There we go. Kind of feels like a waste of money to me, uh, at least. But, uh, hey... 
All right, they never should be able to get this one uh, again. But you never know. Uh, they might have some tricks up their sleeves. So right now, what do we want? We want energy credits. That's priority number one, maybe. So uh, let's start by doing that, I guess. We'll build some mining stations every uh, every now and then. Maybe the minerals would be a nice focus as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd say those two those two would be a, a nice focus. And we definitely want to have the research station there. So let's move him over there as soon as we can. And we'll build the research station as soon as we have the funds. Or at least queue it up, I'd say. And the colony is almost finished, so that would that would be phenomenal. I, I really like the uh, anomaly that we have over here. Or I guess it's not called an anomaly, but in effect. Governing ethics interaction. That is that is a bad thing. But I think uh, I think it's not too far away from our capital, so it, it shouldn't pose that much of, much of a threat. Alright, the construction ship doing its thing. We got the colony established. Let's change our governor, or at least uh, recruit a new one. And, oh, definitely. Engineering output plus 10%. We do want to have those modifiers because we're going to get uh, society produced over there. Uh, by some some nice numbers and look at that steam has got some <laughs> finished downloading i don't know why uh from stellaris all right let's see can we already build the batherium power plant i don't think so I, no we don't even have the technology but i think that will be uh unlocked right now because we do have a tile that that produces batherium stone i'm not sure which one it was under i think it was this one uh, we'll just have to check it out as soon as we finish our other uh, researchers. Let's check out the planet. He's producing two food already. Whoa. I like that. Can we get a frontier clinic? No. We're lacking some money. Let's uh, wait one more month and we'll be able to start the Frontier Clinic. It's very nice because it decreases the growth time by 5%. We already have 10% from... Uh, from technology and 10% from our unity perks. Yeah, and the effect of the planet. I think I already mentioned that, but let's uh, go over that twice, I suppose. And has the population grown in our capital? No, but as soon as that's uh, that population type is fully grown, I'll send it over to Sipix Prime. But for now, I think we're done. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. It helps me outgrow the channel. And as always, have a good one. Cheers.